Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson. This lesson is on the health benefits of lycopene. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about what lycopene is. We're also going to talk about a variety of dietary sources where we can get lycopene, and we're going to talk about health benefits of lycopene. So to begin, what is lycopene? Lycopene is a red pigmented carotenoid found in a variety of foods. So it is red in coloration. It is a carotenoid, which is a fat-soluble compound, and it's found in a variety of foods. We're going to talk about a lot of those foods in the next slide. So it's important to note that it gives a lot of fruits and vegetables their red and oftentimes orange coloration. And what's important with regards to human health is that lycopene is an antioxidant that has been associated with a variety of health benefits. We're going to talk about those health benefits later on in this lesson. And it's only obtained through diet as humans are unable to synthesize it. As I mentioned before, it is a fat-soluble compound, which means that its bioavailability is affected by what other foods are consumed along with it. So if you consume it with fat, it increases bioavailability. So if you eat foods with lycopene in it, you want to eat it with some kind of fat or some kind of oil as this helps you absorb the lycopene as it will release bile from your gallbladder, which helps absorb fat. Another important note to make here with regards to lycopene bioavailability is that the bioavailability of lycopene is oftentimes affected by the processing of the food in which it comes from. So if, for instance, tomatoes, and we'll talk about in the next slide that tomatoes are a great source of lycopene. The example here is that with tomatoes, it's important to process the tomatoes. In fact, processing the tomatoes into a paste allows access to the lycopene within the tomatoes. So it improves the bioavailability. It improves the ability to absorb that lycopene. So processing or through cooking of foods with lycopene in it allows access to that lycopene in order to aid in absorption. What are some of the dietary sources of lycopene? We mentioned tomatoes are an important source of lycopene. And we talked about processing of tomatoes can improve the absorption of the lycopene from the tomatoes. So oftentimes processed tomato products are great sources of lycopene, including tomato paste or pasta sauce or even ketchup. So some of these are great sources of lycopene. We can also get lycopene from goji berries, grapefruit, watermelons, papaya, guava, apricots, and pumpkins along with carrots. So as you can see, a lot of these dietary sources have a red or orange coloration to them, and that comes from the lycopene, as it is the pigment that gives them their color. So these, again, are great sources of lycopene. Now let's talk about some of the health benefits of lycopene. One of the first health benefits that has been shown in a lot of research is lycopene's ability to reduce risk of prostate enlargement. And this comes from the randomized control trial entitled Lycopene Inhibits Disease Progression in Patients with Benign Prostate Hyperplasia. So lycopene consumption appears to prevent disease progression of benign prostatic hyperplasia. So benign prostatic hyperplasia is an enlargement of the prostate. So lycopene consumption appears to prevent or slow the growth or progression of enlargement of the prostate. And six months of lycopene supplementation was shown to reduce PSA or prostate-specific antigen levels and prevent further prostate enlargement. So very good evidence here that lycopene consumption reduces the risk of prostate enlargement or reduces the progression of prostate enlargement. There's also some evidence to suggest that lycopene has some ability to reduce the risk of cancer. This evidence comes from this meta-analysis entitled Lycopene and Risk of Prostate Cancer, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Higher consumption and circulating concentrations of lycopene are associated with a lower risk of prostate cancers. So as individuals consume more and more lycopene and blood levels of lycopene increase, this seems to be associated with a lower risk of prostate cancer. And there's also been some evidence to suggest that lycopene may reduce risk of lung cancer, although some evidence suggests that there's no change at all. And this comes from the article entitled, An Update on the Health Effects of Tomato Lycopene. So it seems to possibly reduce the risk of cancer. And as we've mentioned before, it seems to play a role in preventing or slowing down enlargement of a prostate. So now let's talk about cardiovascular health implications from lycopene. And these come from the article entitled, Lycopene as a Natural Antioxidant Used to Prevent human health disorders. And a lot of following health benefits we're going to talk about come from this article as well. So lycopene may have cardioprotective effects. It's been shown that lycopene consumption appears to reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. 
by its ability to reduce cholesterol oxidation. So cholesterol oxidation is one of the first steps in causing atherosclerosis. Some other effects that have been noted include the following. Lycopene consumption appears to lower blood pressure. There has been evidence in mice models to show reduction in myocardial damage from a myocardial infarction or heart attack. So again, a lot of this evidence is preliminary at this point. It's been shown in animal models, but it is also very encouraging to see that lycopene may have some other health benefits as well. Now let's talk about even more health benefits. And again, a lot of these are going to be found in animal models. Some of them include anti-diabetic effects, anti-inflammatory effects, hepatoprotective effects, so protecting the liver from damage. So some models have shown that lycopene supplementation in animal models that have been exposed to high levels of Tylenol protect the liver from damage caused by Tylenol. So some preliminary evidence here. Neuroprotective effects. It has been noted that lycopene consumption may aid in preventing or reducing age-related cognitive decline and memory loss and even neuronal damage and injury. And then there's also some evidence to suggest that lycopene consumption promotes bone health as well. So again, a lot of these health benefits are preliminary. They've been shown in animal models, and we'll have to wait to see if some of this evidence is further extrapolated in humans. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.